Hello folks. In today's video, I'm going to show you why you need VPC flow logs in your account. Let us say there is a web server that is running in your uh, environment and your uh, developers or your clients are saying that they are not able to access the web server or the web server is not performing well. But when you go to the CloudWatch metrics, you find that the CPU metrics are fine and then you also see that uh, your memory utilization, everything is fine. But for some reason, your developers are not able to get the response time that they needed. So in those cases, you want to look at the network traffic that is happening in your account or in your web server. So those are ideally very good scenarios to configure VPC flow logs for the, your Elastic Network Interface, that is your ENIs for your web server and see what traffic is going on, what is the accept traffic, what is the reject traffic, or what port number, the maximum number of requests are coming, whether they are being rejected or a particular IP address is doing a DDoS attack on your web server. So all those kind of information you can collect from VPC flow logs for your particular network interface. So that is one scenario where VPC flow logs helps. The another scenario is, let us say for example, you have a couple of uh, servers uh, on the public subnet called as web servers, and then you have a couple of servers running as a database in your private subnet. And these two subnets are not talking to each other or there is some problem when you're trying to configure them or suddenly there's some lot of packet drops. So if you want to troubleshoot that kind of an issue, then what you can do is you can specifically configure VPC flow logs at a subnet level. So earlier we did it at a network interface level. Now we are doing it at a subnet level and you can aggregate that information over a subnet level and find out why your web server subnet is not talking to your uh, communicating with your uh, database subnet. So that is another troubleshooting scenario where VPC flow logs really helps. The other scenario that quite often happens is you have a VPC collectively serving a business application, let us say an application A VPC, and you are having issues on the whole VPC itself, then you can configure that VPC flow logs for the entire VPC itself. So these are different levels of granularity Amazon offers you. So you can troubleshoot issues within your VPC using the network level information or your subnet level information or a VPC flow, a VPC level information. It, it's not just that, let us say you have a pairing between two applications, between application A and application B, and you want to troubleshoot whether there is a problem between them, why they are not communicating, then also VPC flow logs can help. So what you do is you configure uh, flow logs on application A as well, and then you configure another flow log on application B, then you can aggregate them and see where the problem is exactly lying. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can set up VPC flow logs at a VPC level using the dashboard. Keep watching this space. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.